and welcome to News Click. Today we have with us Dr. Amit Sen Gupta from Delhi Science Forum, who has also been associated with Jan Swasthya Abhiyan. Welcome to our show, Amit. Thank you. So, Novartis, the Swiss pharmaceutical multinational, has challenged Indian patents law in the Supreme Court. What are the grounds for this challenge? Actually, Novartis has been pursuing this case for the last more than five years. And it started with uh, their having applied for a patent for their anti-leukemia drug, that's a drug for blood cancer, uh, which they sell as Gleevec. The drug is called imatinib mesylate. And uh, their patent was rejected by the patent office first, and then again by the patent appellate board, and then again by the Chennai High Court. So there has been a long sequence of uh, legal battle that uh, Novartis has been fighting. And uh, the Indian Patent Office as well as the court uh, has uh, given an opinion that the Novartis' drug, uh, Glivac, should not be given a patent because under the Indian Patent Act, uh, there is a provision that uh, if you make minor modifications to an existing molecule, then that does not uh, uh, that does not mean that it is a true innovation, that it is a true uh, patent that can be granted. And the section of the Indian Patent Act, which says uh, this, is the section 3D. So what Novartis is now doing in the Supreme Court of India is challenging the Indian Patent Act and specifically Section 3D of the Indian Patent Act uh, saying that uh, that provision was not properly applied in the case of uh, its drug Glivac by the Patent Office as well as by the High Court and that that decision should be overturned and they should be given a patent for Glivac. Novartis claims that through its Glivec International Patients Assistance Program, uh, it provides drugs for free to poor people. So what is the harm if they get this patent? Actually, there are several issues. The first issue, if you specifically look at Glivec itself, uh, it is true that Novartis is providing to Indian patients who cannot afford it, uh, free of cost, the uh, medicine. But this is part of an international program called GPAP. And uh, the whole program actually has been uh, criticized. Uh, uh, for example, the New York Times first carried a story on this in 2003, where uh, they analyze the GPAP program and see this as an attempt by Novartis to create a demand for the drug and subsequently to mobilize patients to ask the government that they should reimburse the patients for the drug that they get from Novartis. Now, there are clear examples, the New York uh, Times story, for example, talked about this in Argentina, in Korea, and many other places where Novartis is playing, uh, is doing this. Now, you have to also understand that Glivac, uh, the global turnover of uh, Glivac is about $4.3 billion which is about 20,000 crores in, uh, in Indian rupees, which is something like half of the Indian market. So that is the kind of revenue that Novartis gets globally. So they, they can play a waiting uh, role in India uh, in anticipation that they will be able to drum up a situation where the government actually reimburses uh, uh, them. The second point is that, uh, again, global experience has shown that the charity model with the GPAP basically is, is not the best way to ensure access because the control is always with the company. And Novartis, for example, in uh, a few years back, had threatened and actually had stopped the free supply of uh, uh, Glivac in India, uh, saying that their patent application was being rejected. Second point uh, is that uh, Novartis is fighting this case not only for its drug Glivac. It's a larger case which involves the whole issue of Section 3D, which has been instrumental in denying patents to a whole range of medicines 
which the Indian law believes are not true innovations. So the problem is not only about cleavage. And the third uh, issue is that uh, if uh, Novartis gets a patent for this drug, then there is, we do not have any evidence that they will, not, uh, they will continue the patient's assistance program. I mean, you said that it is the section 3D which is being actually challenged by Novartis. How big do you think will be the implication if Novartis's challenge is being upheld by the Supreme Court? Section 3D is a key provision in the Indian Patent Act that prevents the patenting of trivial innovations. Uh, now, the whole understanding of a patent system is that you should provide patents. Uh, you should uh, give a monopoly for a limited period of time. In case the inventor is able to show that he has made an effort to create something new, that is called the novelty criteria, right. Now, section 3D lays down clearly what we mean by the novelty criteria in India. And what it says is that you cannot patent a combination of two existing drugs. You cannot patent an existing drug for a new use. You cannot patent an existing drug which is made into a different form, for example, a tablet into a syrup. And you cannot patent different salt forms of the same molecule. So there are these various definitions that are provided in section uh, 3D. Now this section has been used by the patent office not only to deny patent to Gleevec, but for a whole range of antiretroviral medicines used for HIV AIDS. Many companies actually have not filed patents for this kind of innovations because of section 3D. Now if section 3D gets overturned, then the situation changes entirely and a whole new uh, sort of situation would arise where a number of patent claims would be made which were earlier rejected or which were earlier withdrawn or which were not even made in the first place. So you have drugs for TB, you have drugs for HIV AIDS in addition to uh, Gleevec that again would be opened up for scrutiny by the patent office. In interesting turn of events, Justice Dalvir Bhandari, he was hearing the case. He has recused himself from this case. What has caused this thing to happen? Actually, uh, it came about because uh, there were concerns in different uh, quarters, uh, especially among health activists who have been following this case. Uh, that uh, uh, Justice Bhandari as part of uh, a much larger program that drug companies have been now uh, conducting across the world has attended uh, conferences which are uh, supported by the IP Owners Association. And he has had occasion to also present a paper uh, on patent law which takes a very uh, clear position that the patent system is something that needs to be strengthened. Now, the apprehension that was raised is that uh, uh, perhaps because of the clear views that Justice uh, Bhandari has expressed, uh, he may, may not be an appropriate person to hear the uh, case. And this was this uh, position was actually communicated to the minister, to the uh, law ministry. And uh, Justice Bhandari uh, himself decided to recuse himself from the case. Now, we have uh, Justice Markande actually five years back uh, in a similar situation on a patent dispute also had recused himself from a case, but for an opposite reason, where he had said that uh, he had written in a journal uh, saying that drugs should be more, made more affordable and the patent system actually prevents affordable drugs from uh, getting to patients. So that was also uh, a kind of a precedence that existed uh, based on that. So the judgment in this case, how will it impact the medicine access in other countries as well? You see, India has been called the pharmacy of the south, which means that Indian medicines uh, are going not just to Indian patients 
but to a whole range of African, Latin American and Asian countries, especially poor patients in poor countries. For example, if you look at HIV medicines, about 80% of people residing in developing countries who get HIV medicines get it from Indian companies. Now 3D is a key what is called a health safeguard in the Indian Patents Act, which allows the continuing manufacture of a large number of new medicines. So if 3D is overturned, it compromises the ability of Indian companies to be able to supply not just Indian patients, but patients across the world. And you have to understand that the challenge that Novartis has now placed on the Indian Patents Act is not just about getting into the Indian market. It is about preventing Indian manufacturers from manufacturing, not just for the Indian market, but for a whole range of countries across the world. So that is the kind of impact that we are talking about, not just in uh, the case of cancer medicine like Gleevec, but whole range of HIV AIDS medicines and a large number of other medicines that Indian generic manufacturers are making. So this is a case that is actually uh, being watched by health activists, by patient associations across the world in many different countries because it has implications not just for India, but a much larger global implication. Thank you, Amit. Hopefully, we get a judgment which takes care of access of healthcare, not just of people of India, but elsewhere as well. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure.